This week on Rush Outdoors, we're chasing big Empire State Bucks. We'll explore some interesting tidbits with Tory's Topics. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Rush Outdoors starts right now. Awesome New York box. What a beauty. Whew, I'm shaking. We got a nice 10 point down here in central New York and I couldn't be happier. Nothing crazy about this, he's down. Nice buck on the ground. Great buck. Can't that just happened. <laughs> what a rush. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings. Your home, farm, and outdoor store. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by the Wayne County Department of Tourism. Look them up online at waynecountytourism.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Staffer Tim Andrus. Today, I'm headed to the Rush Outdoors lease to Central New York. Last night at home, I made up a list. Water, thermocell, covert cameras. I forgot one major component, batteries. Just FYI, you need batteries for trail cameras. So I just got off the throughway here. Luckily, there's a running store just right here in Canandaigua. I'll be there, be back on the way in a few minutes. Go figure. I come here for batteries and look where I'm at. Sporting goods department. That's what I love about running. You never know what new stuff they're gonna have on hand. And while I'm doing some shopping, Let's check out Pro Sapper Keith Bartholomew. He's hunting public land deer right here in New York. Let's see how he does. Just got everything ready here. We're getting ready to head in. So we've got a couple of nice bucks here on camera, but uh, you know, nothing real big. Um, they're respectable bucks, but you know, we're gonna head in here and we'll see what happens. Sounds like they're cutting wood down on the other end of the big open hardwoods. Maybe it'll push some deer our way here, so never know. Friday the 13th, I guess anything can happen, so let's go check it out. It's not good getting old. I need those glasses. If I'm gonna film stuff clearly. This arrow right here, minus the broadhead, it's a new broadhead is the one I shot my book with in Kentucky this year. Same nocturnal. Had a complete pass through, so. I'm reusing it. I've got to readjust my bow hanger. It's way too high. Just got settled into the stand here. And uh, seen a little four point last night. I've got a covert trail camera right down here. And I sat about 80 yards up this little creek. 
in the hang on stand last night and seen a little four point. But we checked my covert trail camera here last night. I had 748 pictures in three nights. So we had a couple of small eight points. Um, I mean, one's decent, but you see, he's a two year old. There's a young 10 point, I think, is a two year old. It's going to be a real nice buck. And then there's um, the biggest buck that's, you know, that we have on camera in here. Um, he's a 10 point, he's got long brow tines, but he's not real wide. I believe he's a three year old buck at least. Really struggling to try to find these big bucks. We got a south wind tonight, tomorrow, all day long, and then most of the day on Sunday. It's crazy. It's, I got a good setup here for a south wind. It's not bad. Um, seeing a lot of morning activity. The deer are working their way back this way. So, if they're bedded down in, in front of me, you know, I'll have a real good, sh good chance of them not winding near nothing. So, we got our scent lock products on. So, odds are in our favor. This stuff's proven deadly. Incredible selection at competitive prices. Check us out. Located in the lush farmlands of western New York, Orleans County offers some of the very best fly fishing opportunities in the country. From golden brown trout and acrobatic steelhead to powerful Chinook, coho, and Atlantic salmon, fishing prospects abound in the fall and winter. Whether you fish Oak Orchard or one of our other tributaries, you'll find uncrowded weightable waters to net one of these great species. Why not come and drop a line to our finny friends and see how fall fishing in Orleans County swims with color. I love New York. Shadow Hunter Professional Grade Hunting Blinds. Innovation that lets you hunt like a pro. Proudly made in the American heartland. Our systems elevate you to the perfect vantage point and are engineered for your total comfort and concealment. Built to a higher standard, the customizable Shadow Hunter system keeps you on top of your game. Start hunting like a pro today. Find your dealer at shadowhunterblinds.com. I'm Ashley Martin. Welcome to Martin's Marina. Come on in, I'll show you around. We're one of Lund's top dealers in the Northeast. We also have a wide variety of Avalon pontoon boats, all equipped with Mercury motors. We pride ourselves on our service. All of our technicians are Mercury certified. Pick from our selection of Shoremaster docks and a full line of accessories to complement your dock, as well as boat hoists. But that's not all. Here at Martin's, we have all your boating needs, from dockage, self-service gas, inside storage, and winterization. So come on down to Martin's Marina in beautiful Cape Vincent, New York. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Orleans County, Shadow Hunter Blinds, the New York Sportsman's Expo, PSE Archery, CVA, Beretta, Scent Lock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Block Targets, IQ Bow Sights, True Fire Releases, Coyote Eyewear, Hooray, North Country Troopers Assisting Troops, Bedford Camera and Video, and Carlson's Choke Tubes.
We just had a nice eight point sneak in. He's pretty wide. I didn't get a chance to size him up too much, but he's a really nice buck. Um, he come right up here at 20 yards and I hit him a bit high. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but the arrow lodged, I think, in the opposite side shoulder. I'm gonna look at the footage. I see the arrow hanging on him. We're gonna get down and try to look for some blood. And then uh, put a game plan together here, look at the footage. But oh, I'm shaking. I was just about ready to call it a night. It's getting kind of dark. And uh, I turned and looked, and he had me picked out right up here in the tree stand. And they've been running right down through here. I got covert trail camera pictures of this deer. And uh, he's not got really long tines, but it, he's just a really nice eight point, I believe. But um, yeah, he's nice and wide. So I'm gonna get down here and uh, see if we can find some mud. I'm shaking. Alright, yeah, we got some good blood. He's spraying really good now. There he is. I believe he's got a white belly. Yep, we got a deer down. Tori's Topics is brought to you by Vortex Optics. Hi, I'm Victoria Furchaw at Runnings in Brockport, New York. It's time for Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. One thing I never leave the house without is my Vortex rangefinder. It can make all the difference while archery hunting on a nice clean shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, Rush Uncut member Shane Smith learned the hard way on this coyote miss. One tip I would have is when you get in the stand, range some points. Range a rock, range a tree. That way, you know your distances, and when the game comes in, you're ready to take the shot. That's it for Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. I'll catch you next week. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Martin's Marina, Dry Shod Waterproof Footwear, Muzzy Broadheads, Glendale 3 d Archery Targets, Millennium Tree Stands, Carbon Express, Real Tree, QAD Arrow Rests, Hunter Safety Systems, Whitetail Institute, Keystone Calls, Covert Scouting Cameras, Voss Signs, The Roxy, Thermacell, The Resort at Snug Harbor, and Briars Riverside Market. <laughs> nice New York buck down. 
All right, we're getting into the business side of this here. We're gonna get it dressed out and uh, we'll get some better video and pictures tomorrow. Okay, well, here we are the next day. Friday the 13th last night. Usually bad luck for a lot of people. Pretty good luck for me, actually. This was the probably the second biggest buck that we had on, on trail camera here this year. We've really struggled to find the bigger bucks. And, um, you know, this guy here last night, he snuck in real quick. I didn't have a lot of time to size him up. Uh, he is not my biggest buck by any means, but he really put on a, a little challenge there last night with uh, a little playing cat and mouse with me. He picked me out in the tree, up in the tree there, and stared me down. I remained patient and and uh, didn't move. And uh, I'm looking at him and I'm like, ah, I don't know which buck this is for sure. I thought he was an eight point that we had on camera. But uh, as it turned out, uh, he come up, snuck up, I shot him. And he, uh, he only went like 65 yards. So it's an end to a New York season here for our archery season. Um, I'm really happy with this deer. He got me shook up a little bit. I got shaken in the stand a little bit there. And, um, and that's what it's all about, you know. It's not all about uh, inch, a game of inches anymore. Um, at least not for me. I'm very happy with this deer. That's why we hunt. Um, whatever makes you happy is what you should take. And uh, leave it up to the individual hunter. But we got a nice 10 point down here in central New York and I couldn't be happier. Okay, let's go get him to the butchers. Hey Keith, great hunt. Let me tell you what, not only was Keith self-filming, he was hunting public land and he did it with a bow. Kudos to him. Oh hey, Dave Morgan from Rush Uncut. And when I want to know what's going on in New York State, I turn to New York Outdoor News. All right, now it's time for this week's Covert Corner by, by Covert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature picks in by Field State for Brandon Thomas, a cool hardhorn buck late season. Brandon and everyone else at Rush Outdoors relies on Covert Scouting Cameras. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. Innovation is in our DNA, bred from a long history of fierce competition and the survival of the fittest. Inheriting the results of nearly 50 years of PSE archery research and development, the Evolve Cam system delivers the smoothest draw cycle ever created without any compromise on speed. PSE Archery's Evolve Cam system. Evolve or get left behind. What happens when revolutionary brands come together? Now infused with a Limashield, Hunter Safety System introduces the first ever scent control harness. Traditional sprays treat surface odors. Limashield treats the source. Through heat fusion, Limashield is bonded to every single fiber, destroying odor for the life of your harness. Only Hunter Safety System keeps you safe and kills human odor while you kill, well, you get the picture. See Odor Die at seeodordie.com. Before the calm, before the hunt, before the climb, it starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings, the best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Here we go. Finally. Good buck. Rush Uncut is brought to you by Butler Sales and Service. 
Hey folks, welcome to Rush Uncut. I'm your host Dave Morgan here at the Cozy Cabin by North Country Storage Barns. But there's a little twist. We're at the Running's Great New York Sportsman's Expo. Why don't you tell the folks at home what Rush Uncut's all about? Well, Rush Uncut is this great opportunity that people like me and viewers at home can send in their own footage and get themselves on TV. Hey Dave, why don't you take us to the first hunt? All right, up first, we've got Rush Uncut member John Lawrence right here. Why don't you tell the folks home a little bit about the hunt? This was the first buck that I shot on film. got in real early this morning, had a couple deer come through, I couldn't see, it was still dark. And then about 8 o'clock, I look out in the field and I see a spike cut across the field. And um, I was watching him for a while, kind of losing him in the leaves. And a few minutes later I look and it looks like he's nose to nose with another deer, so I glass. And it's this big buck that I have pictures of um, all summer and into the fall. And I give him two grunts, he's about 300 yards away, I give him two grunts, he turns, comes on a string right to me, the spike comes in, I got him probably 25 yards, 20, 25 yards, and um, I get the camera on him, and I get it to the angle that I want, pan out a little bit, and <laughs> of course he's walking towards the edge of the, um, towards the edge of my um, viewer, so I took the shot, a little quartering to me, and his front leg was covering his vitals the way he had stepped. So I shot in front of the shoulder. It looked like okay penetration. He went about 40 yards, bedded down. And I was hoping he was going to expire there. And uh, he must have got up because I can't see him. Um, so I'm gonna give this deer plenty of time on the end case that I clipped just one long or something along those lines um, to let him expire. But I don't think he's going to be traveling very far, judging by the fact that he went and bedded down pretty much immediately. Uh, but a nice 10-pointer, I'm guessing 130 incher, um, real chocolate rack, beautiful deer. Uh, so I'm, <laughs> when I'm pumped, I'm just a little nervous. I got to find this deer. Been getting trail camera pictures of this buck since September, uh, beginning of September. Actually, I had pictures of him all summer. Anyway, he uh, came in from across this field, grunting him in with a couple smaller other bucks, and um, gave me a 20-yard shot. Um, first buck I ever got on film, so I'm super pumped about that. And uh, we got it done. So I'm going to be uh, hopefully zipping another doe before gun season starts, and hopefully uh, another big buck shows up and we can make it, uh, make it happen with a gun. Hey, that was a great hunt, John. And sit right back for our next segment. We've got Rush Uncut member, Gordon Wood. And uh, he's gonna take us on a little fishing trip and explain a little bit about it. Well, we were on Canandaigua Lake and we were fishing for uh, rainbows and lakers. Once again, I got to turn on my sister. Yeah. 
the uh, picture of the week this week. This week, we've got Rush Uncut member Mark Florenz with a gorgeous New York buck. By now, you know, if you want to see your mug on TV, sign up for Rush Uncut. It's as easy as logging on to RushOutdoors.com and clicking on the Rush Uncut logo and following the simple steps. Or make your way down to Running's Great New York Sportsman's Expo. Right here, see the crew, sign up in person. We'll see you there. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. And don't forget to rush outdoors with a camera. Rush Uncut is brought to you by Butler Sales and Service and by Traeger Grills, Fire Tower Doubles, Dovey Motors, Upstream Construction, The Rope Guys, Night Eyes Predator Lights, Iron Skillet Seasonings, Hunting Buddy, Carolina Carports, Four Seasons Archery, Froggy 97 of Watertown, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, IBEW Local 43, and IBEW Local 1249. Well, that's about all the time we have this week. Thankfully, I stopped here for batteries. I almost got a cart full right now. One thing, check out runnings.com for future deals in your area. There you have it, fresh batteries in the culvert, headed to the lease. But before I go, I want to tell you about one great thing coming up at the end of this January. The Great New York Sportsman's Expo, State Fairgrounds, Syracuse, New York. Hunting, fishing, camping, you name it, they've got it. Check out that website listed below. From everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Andrus. I'll see you in the woods. For more information on Rush Outdoors, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. That adds way too more to the mix. Ah, wrong word. What? Way more to the mix. Yeah. No. Uh, this week, be Peacher. Peacher. I didn't know Peacher was a word. Hey, that's about all the time we have this week, thankfully, because I've just about got a cart full. I came here for batteries, and I'm going to leave with a cart full, like I just said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that to me. I knew it. Can't put a battery in. Shot a buck. That was horrible. Yeah, we'll do it again. We'll do it again.